Okay, you're in Microsoft Word and you're trying to get your head around how tabs work. So to make the most use of this tutorial, you need to do two things. On the home tab of your ribbon, press this button here, show hide. And that's going to show non-printing characters in your document, including tabs. And the other thing you want to do is go to the view tab and tick the ruler option here. That will show the ruler across the top of your document and down the side of your document. So if I write my first heading and then tab, this is the non-printing character for a tab. Now these tabs are invisible tabs that Word has automatically placed across the ruler and we can change the tab distance, the default tab distance. Now to do that, I'm going to click on this little paragraph launcher. So this is on the home tab in the paragraph group. I'll click on that launcher button and then go down to this tabs button at the bottom of the dialog box. And here we can set the default tab stops. So by default is 1.27 centimeters. So I'm going to change that to four centimeters and then click on OK. So you can see it's increased the tab distance. And what that's done is given you equal distribution of headings. They're all the same distance apart. And sometimes that's what you want. And sometimes you want to specify particular tab positions. And this is where we can use our ruler. So I'll delete this text. Now, if I look up in the top left-hand corner of my screen here, you can see that there is a little tab control. It looks like an L. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ruler at the four centimeter position. You can see that little L appears there. Then I'm going to click at the seven centimeter position and I get another left tab. And then at the 11 centimeter position. Right, I'm going to type my headings again. But when I press tab, what it does now is jump to the position of this first left tab that I've placed on the ruler. Tab again. It goes to the position of the second left tab. Tab again, and it goes to the position of the third left tab. So if I press return to create a new paragraph, you'll see that the tabs still apply to this new paragraph. And it would keep applying to new lines or new paragraphs as I added them. If you want to change the position of the tabs, all you'd need to do is select the text that the tabs are currently applied to. And then you can just drag the tabs to a new position. If for whatever reason you wanted to remove a tab, then make sure your text is still selected and then just drag the tab off of the ruler. And that's obviously going to affect the layout of your text if you do that. So let's undo what we've just done there. Now, if you want to clear all of your tabs, then you're better going into this paragraph launcher again, then going to the tabs button and clicking on clear all, then click on OK. Now the text has still survived intact and that's because it's tabbed to the default positions as defined here, four centimeters apart. So as I said, these are like invisible tabs that are on the ruler. If I didn't want any space between these text items, I would need to delete the tab characters that I can see there. So that's just a matter of backspacing. Now all the tabs we've used so far have been left aligned tabs. You can see that the little tab control here says left tab. So let's write these headings again, but Let's change the alignment of some of the tabs. So the first tab I'm going to include is going to be a center align tab. So if I click on this left tab control here, I then get a center aligned tab. So I'm going to place that at the five centimeter position. So I'm then going to tab and I'm going to type date of birth. Then I'm going to click on this tab control again and it changes to a right tab. So I'm going to place the right tab at the 10 centimeter position. So if I tab over to that tab, I'm going to type extension number. I'm also going to use a right tab for the account balance. So I'm going to place that at the 14 centimeter position. 
So if I press enter and I type in some details, you can see that this date is centered under the date of birth heading. Extension number is right aligned underneath the extension number heading. And so is the account balance. Now I'm actually going to remove this right tab for the account balance. Just make sure those paragraphs are selected. And I'm going to drag that right tab off of the ruler. And in its place, I'm going to change the tab control to a decimal tab and put it in the same position as before 14. Now the decimal tab is useful if you have decimal places in your numbers. For example, if I write another number here, you can see that the decimal places line up. Now another useful tab type is a tab type called bar. And that is useful if you want lines between your text, say in this sort of table format. So if I select those lines, got the bar tab type selected there, and I want a line at this position here, three centimeters. You can see it draws a line in my table. I could put one at seven centimeters and one at 11 centimeters. Now, of course, you don't need to keep this show height button on to use tabs. So if I click on it, it gets rid of those little arrows and you probably agree it looks better. Now, one more thing I want to show you, and that was leader lines. Now to use leader lines, you need to go into the tab dialog box. So on the home tab of your ribbon, click on the paragraph launcher and then go down to tabs. We're gonna set the tab position at six centimeters but we want to use a dotted leader line. So I'm going to click on OK, and then I'm going to put in a numbered point. Now when I tab, what it's going to do, it's going to give me that leader line up to the position of the next tab. So here I want to write in a time. And if I do the same on the next line in tab, it also gives me that leader line. Now, if I want more space between the leader line and this text, what I would do is select this text. I'm going to use a right tab, and then I'm going to position the tab at eight centimeters. So now, if I click before that time and tab, it'll go out to that eight centimeter tab. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.